Talladega last year and early in this race at lap 41. A little crossover move here by Carl. Clean here, clean here. Just slight contact. Oh, Look at that gosh. thing go. That looks so much like Edwards turnover at, at Talladega, Talladega off the bumper of Keselowski. It really did. And, and I'm, I'm I'm so wondering and hoping that when they put the spoiler back on these cars, they'll quit turning over like this. Keselowski's put the window net down. The roof flaps deployed, but it did not sit that car back down. I'm like you, Daryl. I'm going to be so glad to see that rear spoiler back on these cars. I think that's a, it's got to be something to that. That car took a hard hit in the left A pillar, the windshield post right in front of the driver. And into the back of the car ahead, but let's just see it at real time here. And in fact, that's interesting. Oh, it was a miscommunication effectively because AS Roma was moving to the right to let him pass on the left. Yeah, and here we go. Oh, oh and that's a terrible, terrible accident. A massive accident, absolutely huge. The car splitting in half, which is what it's designed to do. The engine and gearbox splitting away from the monocoque. Casey, and, well, and I'm going to put a, put a big mm. block on him, and that's what it was. Oh. He put a big, and man, once you get that grass, you're done. Yeah. Wow, that was a hit, that. man. Wow. That, that was a hit. That was a hard hit. The 16 and the 5 just drove into the side of the 9, had no place to go. The Mark Martin and, and Biffle took the hard hits right there. And then you see 24 come into it. 26. Yeah. Take, hey, a, take another going. look here. Watch, watch. You see Casey King, the Budweiser car. He, he's going to make a run, and Amendinger is going to take him all the way to the grass on a block. Yeah, and I, and I think Amendinger, I think AJ felt like, okay, I'm this far down. He's not going to be there now. And I mean, right in front of mm. Mark Martin and Biffle. Who's that? Is that uh, is that Truex in there too? Yeah, Truex is in there. Yeah. Here's a 39 that we saw come off of turn three, just in the gas. Oh, Ooh. Ambrose hit the inside guardrail a ton. It was deja vu for race fans at Willowbank this morning. On the same bend, the same make of car spun from the track and slammed into the first safety barricade. Fortunately, once again, the Mini Cooper's driver escaped serious injury. Yesterday, hundreds of spectators ran for their lives when Kane Magro's Mini Cooper flipped into the crowd. Two fans suffered minor injuries. Now, let's take a look at the repeat, see if we can find out what happened. There's Kevin Riley spinning. It looks like Donnie Cravels nudged him, and there's a Corvette really deboning the Mosler. The Corvette of all cars, a really fast car as well. I think it might have been around the, well, 150 kilometers a year, something like that, accelerating out, maybe even faster. Oh. And we're so lucky that nobody got hurt. Just goes diving down here after he gets clobbered by the 31 on uh, the 83 okay this started already behind me. the 83 yeah. got turned but but they see that going on in front of them and they're yeah. all jockeying for position to avoid that and and it, it's that chain reaction accident you know what i mean look at the cars man there's a lot of cars in that accident menard did a great job he got up on the high side and kind of got around them but these guys all these cars have damage here you, you see the first group when you don't pay attention to what the two cars doing. Watch everybody behind them because this is where the wreck. Well, see what happened. The, the 83 checked up, the 12 checked up, and it looked like Montoya got into the back of somebody. And yeah, but it, 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 there's nothing you can there's do no, about it. Yeah. I mean, it's just like you said, it's Look a chain reaction.
You can see Mike moving inside the car. He's going on the inside of Ryan Hunter Ray. This reminds me almost of Dan Weldon's crash here in turn three and four quite a few years ago. And the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent of Kenny Brack's accident at Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. You know, he was incredibly lucky that he did not go head into that fence. That is an, a horrible impact. Wow. All right, let's go on board from Elio Castroneves' point of view. You can see Mike was trying for some reason to go on the inside. Wow, he almost collected Anna Beatrice. Now from Ryan Hunter Ray's car. So you can see that he got hit on the inside and up over the top. And you can see Ryan Hunter Ray moving his hands and he looks up in front of him and he goes, my gosh, I can't believe that. Oh, wow. Oh, so close. I'm thinking one more lap when I get my sub sandwich, we're gonna go home and uh, then they started wrecking. I turned left, I didn't know AJ went upside down there. That thing was flying, that was really strange. AJ really, really lucky to be uh, be okay there. But when you see this happening as a driver, you just wanna get as far away as you can. I see these guys get together, I think, oh, they're going right, they're probably coming back left. Oh, I Everybody's just missed you. Oh, man. doing the best they can. <laughs> I just missed and you. You're telling me, man. <laughs> uh, Und tatsächlich, die Resta dreht sich, kommt er da nochmal raus. Oh, und dann gibt es einen riesen Crash. Ach, das ist Alexandre Prima. Was ist da passiert? Direkt hier vor Start und Ziel. Heftiger Unfall des Franzosen. Steigt aus, Prima steigt aus, kann man aus unserer Kabine sehen. Total zerstörtes Auto. Jubel und unter Prima den Zuschauern, dass Alexandre Prima hier offensichtlich. Jetzt haben wir auch hier das Bild. Prima Unverletzt aus. aussteigt, aber das ist ja, ja war das Geburtstagskind. Und da kommt jetzt Prima rechts hinten und schießt dann raus. Offensichtlich hat wohl hinten einer auf die Ecke bekommen und ist dann auf der Geraden abgebogen. Die Streckenposten auf der Innenseite, wahnsinniges Glück. Trying to block off that advance as they race up the super stretch. Whoa, Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets nailed. He is upside down and they're wrecking on the back straightaway. Dale Earnhardt Jr. upside down. Brendan Gaughan gets nailed. He's up in the air. Back to the ground goes Gaughan. Here's Tony Reigns. He's involved. Joey Logano is there. Kevin Harvick spins. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. spins to a halt right at our feet on the back straightaway. And that Helvin Chevrolet torn to bits. And the good news is... Window net is down and Junior is moving around inside of that race car. That was a wild ride that erupted about halfway down the back straightaway and wound up in turn three, bringing out the service master clean caution. Oh, there's contact behind him between Carl Edwards and, and Carl Edwards got up into Keslowski. Keslowski. And boy, it just flipped Dale over. And then there's no but where for these guys to go. That's Kyle Busch. That's the damage he sustained. There's Brendan gone. You gotta wonder why Carl Edwards would make a move like that on the straightaway. Kind of made a, an abrupt move up to the outside lane there. I don't know if he thought he was clear. Yeah, sometimes you're moving over just to get against that car. Here it is in real time. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I think it's just a product of this restrictor plate racing. The cars are all bunched up. And just misjudging by a few inches can create a situation just like this. Thank <laughs> you. 